Hello guys, welcome back. On today's menu, we are preparing spoon goods. So we have our meat here, all-purpose flour. We also have our sea salt, cabbage, carrots, scotch pepper, bell pepper, lemon, onion, ginger, garlic, corn flour, and these are natural spices. So let's start with mixing our flour. This is what I'll be mixing my flour in. So, um, so let's start by washing our hands. So there's my right first flag. I have my corn powder here. And my notes name. The mixture needs to be smooth. You have to make sure that there is no rough particles in it. I want it to be smooth. That's why I'm beating it. I'll be cleaning it with my tissue then I cover it you can choose to store it in the refrigerator for some time so when I'm done cleaning it I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for 10 minutes before using it I'm coming to wash my meat with lime water so I'm squeezing my lime I'm not taking the meat from the lime water. Washing my meat. Next is to cut it, then I blend it. My hands are already clean. So, this is the machine that I'll be blending my meat in. It's already clean. I'm done blending my meat. I'm coming to steam it. So let's start. I added all my blended onion and the ginger. I have to make sure that the water is a lot on top of the meat so that it will be soft. When the water is a little bit dry, I'll be adding my pepper. I'm mixing all my wet ingredients here. So the last is the pepper, blended pepper. Yeah, I don't want to add water to my veggies. As you can see. So I have my pepper here. As I said earlier on, I will be mixing all my wet ingredients on top of the mix. So we have our olive spray here. First thing that we are going to fry is our carrots. So in here, I have my corn flour mixture. I'm adding it to the mix. This is the next 
next ingredient that we have. The last will be our dry spices. With my natural spices, I just added curry powder and one maggi chip. I'll be mixing it. I cook meat here. And this is my veggies. It's good. The next is to add my meat into the veggies. We have our spices here. So as you can see, we are done with our the veggies and um, we are done mixing them together. You have to make sure that it cools down before you use it. So I'm coming to put it down for some time. Next is to start with my spring dough wrapper. So as you can see, my dough is well mixed. You can see the texture. We are trying to start our wrappers. My spring roll pan is on fire. I cleaned it with oil. Yes, I used to shoot to clean it before I'm coming to use it. So let's start. Always, you have to make sure that you have a napkin when you are done with your wrap to cover it also to be dry. Secular form. So I'm cutting the edges of my wrappers and I won't throw it away. I'll be using it to fold the spring rolls. Always make sure when you are coming to fill your spring roll, make sure the cooked place is where you are going to fill your vegetables. So you can pick any amounts that you can cut the edges. So this one, I think it's me. And I'm going to cut the edges together. The filler, the edges that we took 
hands. We are not going to throw it away, so we we'll add it to our mouth paste. Then we fill in with our veggies. Any amount you want, then we fill it. Then we start to roll it. Start from the end. You fold it neatly. Okay. Then you fold the left edge on top of it. And this is our mixture. This is what we'll be using to soak our spring roll. So I'm done with my rolls. Next thing is to fry it. Thank you always for coming through to watch my videos. It means a lot to me. If you are new here, kindly do me a favor to subscribe to my channel. And you can DM me through Instagram if you want to order frozen spring rolls. Or leave a comment. I will leave my Instagram in the description below. Thank you. My frying pan is on fire, and this is the oil that we'll be using for the spring goose. When it comes to spring goose, you always have to make sure that there is a lot of oil in your pan because we are going to use we are going to fry it on deep frying. Our oil is hot. So please with my spoon goes, I didn't add sugar to it, it's salt. I hope you like this video, you enjoyed watching this video. Please don't forget to comment, like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you, bye bye.